What's up, family? Hey, I want to show you guys something real quick. Hey, I'm not great at camera work, so bear with me. Man, excuse me, I'm about to sit down on this huge rock out here. I'll talk to you guys about something, family. I'll talk to you guys about fear, overcoming our fear. I talk to a lot of people, and they say fear is the evidence, excuse, is the false evidence appearing real. I don't think that's necessarily true. I'm gonna say it again. I don't think that fear is false evidence appearing real. It could be that sometimes, but the great majority of the time, it's not that at all. At all. It's not false evidence that we're afraid of. A lot of times we're afraid of things that we see, things we, we know, reality. Case in point, 2004, um, my son, four years old, went in and had heart surgery, eight hour procedure. I was scared, I was terrified. And I was scared because it wasn't false evidence, the reality, Doctors and people in the hospital kill more people than any other cause in America. I'm going to say that again. More people are killed in hospitals due to negligence than gun violence, than drugs, than people commit suicides, car accidents, than all those other things put together. We don't talk about that. Just because we don't talk about it doesn't mean that it's not real. And it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. I'm going to say this again. More people are killed due to negligence in the hospital than any other cause in America. From gun violence, suicide, drugs, crime, all that put together. More people are killed in hospitals every year. And so when my son is going through this eight-hour procedure... I'm scared. I'm scared because I know reality. I'm scared because I know the truth. And the truth is, doctors kill more people than gangbangers do. Doctors kill more people than the cops do. So that's not false evidence. That's reality. Why am I talking about this? The truth is, family, every single one of us have fear. Every single one of us, we may not always be conscious of our fear, but we have fear. Every single one of us have issues and insecurities that we may not always be aware of. Just because we're not aware of it doesn't mean that we don't have them. We have fear. And there's nothing wrong with having that fear. I'm gonna say this again. There's nothing wrong with having that fear. Fear is a natural reaction. Now, fear to me is an acronym. An acronym that stands for one or two things. Fear everything and run, or face everything and rise. I'm gonna say that again. Fear is an acronym to me, and it stands for fear everything and run, or face everything and rise. You could get scared and you could freeze up and not do anything. You could get scared and run from whatever it is that you're scared of. Or you could face it 
and, account and rise above it. It is only by facing your fears that you're going to be able to move beyond your fears. I'm say this again. It is only by facing your fears that you're going to be able to move beyond your fears. You're never going to outgrow your fear if you never face it. I remember when, um, as a single parent, man, I was on the verge of having a nervous breakdown. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was on the verge of having a nervous breakdown, just stressed the heck out, just beyond max. You know what I mean? Just, I was done. You know, raising two kids, financially just struggling, just no help from their mom, just going through it. You know what I mean? Just went through a bad breakup. Just, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was, I was done. Done, done, done. You know, well done, you know. And it's like I can't I can't have a nervous breakdown. I can't do this. This is not what men do. You know what I mean? Men don't do this. You know what I mean? This is what punks do. You know what I mean? Just stupid stuff, you know? And it's like I didn't want to deal with that. I didn't want to face that. I didn't want to acknowledge that. I tried to suppress that. It wasn't until I got to the point of like, you know what? I gotta deal with this. I have to deal with whatever's going on emotionally. I can't keep hiding from it. I can't keep drinking and trying to suppress it and ignoring it. You know what I mean? I can't keep doing stupid stuff. I can't keep jumping in different relationships, trying to ignore it. You know what I mean? Trying to run from it. I have to deal with this. And once I dealt with it, once I faced it, it was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was hard. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. It was hard. But it wasn't as hard as I made it out to be in my mind. It was a challenge. It was a struggle. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. It was hard work. But it was worth it. I grew so much. I learned so much about myself. I didn't realize I had so much going on internally until I learned to face that fear, until I learned to deal with that, until I faced it. That fear had me trapped. That fear had me not growing. That fear had me not learning who I really was. And it was only by me facing that fear, it was only by me dealing with those things that I discovered who I really was. Whatever it is you're dealing with, whatever it is that you're scared of, face it. Face it. You have to face it. I don't care if you have to face it alone. I don't care if you have a partner with you. Whatever it is that you got to do, you have to do it. You have to face that fear. That fear is not going to go anywhere until you face it. That fear is not going to leave your life until you face it. You're not going to move beyond it. You're not going to get rid of it. You're not going to outgrow it. You're not going to outlive it. You have to face that fear in order to move beyond it. That fear is just a test to get you to the next level. In order to go to the next level of your growth and development, you have to face that fear. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace. Man, this is beautiful. Talk to you guys later. Love you.